Hi guys, see you again in this channel. Here we will make a simple molding construction using the mold tools command and a special cutting surface. Well, let's get started. Open a new part. Then insert part. Select file that has been created. Open. Click OK. On the mold tools toolbar, select scale. On the scale parameter, select origin. Uniform scaling. And set the scale factor at 1.02. Click the product then click OK. This scale factor is the shrinkage value of the plastic material. Click front plane. Then on the features toolbar, select plane. In the second reference, click on a point as a vertex. OK. While plane 1 is active, select parting line on the mold tools toolbar. Select parting line. Right click and choose select tangency. There is a message. The parting line is complete but the mold cannot be separated into core and cavity. You may need to create shut off surfaces. This is the shut off area. OK. Select shut off surfaces on the mold tools toolbar. Right click and choose select tangency. Now, the mold is separable into core and cavity. OK. Hide the body. Green is cavity surface bodies. And red is the core surface bodies. Left click plane, then select sketch. Hide plane 1 and hide parting line 1. Click convert entities, then select entities to convert. OK. Click and drag the entities to the left and bottom right. Add horizontal lines. Set dimensions at 130 millimeters. 32 millimeters. And 230 millimeters. Exit sketch. Then on the surface toolbar, select surface extrude. Select mid plane. And set the depth at 290 millimeters. OK. Select trim surface on the surface toolbar. Click the trim tool. Then select the keep selection surface. OK. Click plane 1, then select tooling split on the mold tools toolbar. In the front view, make a corner rectangle sketch. Then offset entities at 5 mm. Reverse check and base geometry check. Click one of the rectangle sketch, then OK. Exit sketch. Select the parting surface. Set depth direction 2 at 160 mm. And depth direction 1 at 80 mm. OK. Hide all surface bodies. and hide cavity bodies. Select core on the mold tools toolbar. Click the body surface. Sketch a vertical center line. Then sketch the corner rectangle. Sets the outer dimensions to the body at 10 millimeters. And 35 millimeters towards the center line. Select mirror entities on the sketch toolbar. Then select entities to mirror. Check copy. And select the center line as the mirror about. OK. Then exit sketch. Click reverse direction. Under parameters, select through all. Check draft outward and set draft at 10 degrees. OK.
Select Combine on the Features Toolbar. Then click Bodies to Combine. Show Preview. Then click OK. Hide Core Bodies. Then select the core on the Mold Tools Toolbar. Click the body surface as a plane. Select the centerline sketch. Then create a vertical and horizontal sketch that divides equally. Make a corner rectangle at the top left of the body. Select equal and add relation for all rectangle lines. Sets the outer dimensions to the body at 10 millimeters. Then set the rectangle dimensions at 75 millimeters. On the sketch toolbar, select mirror. Select entities to mirror. Repeat the mirror command again. Select entities to mirror. OK. Then exit sketch. Click reverse direction. Uncheck the outward draft. Set the depth at 35 millimeters. OK. Show core bodies. On the features toolbar, select combine. Then click bodies to combine. Show preview. Then click OK. Hide core bodies. Select fillet on the features toolbar. Set the radius at 15 millimeters. Select items to fillet. Next, set the radius at 4 millimeters. Select items to fillet. OK. Set the radius at 1.5 millimeters. Select items to fillet. OK. Create sketch on the back of the body. Click surface then select sketch on the sketch toolbar. Select offset entities. Set the offset distance at 25 millimeters. Reverse check and offset geometry check. Exit sketch. Select the hole wizard. Set the hole type on the legacy hole. And set the type on the counter board drilled. Set value of diameter at 30 millimeters. Counter bore diameter at 36 millimeters. And counter bore depth at 8.2 millimeters. In the position tab, click 3D sketch. Then select the four corner points of the square. OK. Hide cavity bodies. Then show core bodies. On the surface toolbar, select delete face. Click face to delete. OK. On the features toolbar, select fillet. Set the radius at 15 millimeters. Select items to fillet. Next, set the radius at 4 millimeters. Select items to fillet. OK. Set the radius at 1.5 millimeters. Select items to fillet. OK. Create sketch on the back of the body. Select offset entities. Set the offset distance at 25 millimeters. Reverse check and offset geometry check. Exit sketch. On the surface toolbar, select the hole wizard. Set the hole type on the legacy hole and set the type on the counter board drill. Set value of diameter at 20 millimeters. Counter bore diameter at 26 millimeters. And counter bore depth at 6.2 millimeters. In the position tab, click 3D sketch. Then select the four corner points of the square. OK. Show all body.
Click Cavity Bodies, then select Move Bodies. Set Delta Z at minus 300 millimeters. OK. Click the Dipper or the Product, then select Move Bodies on the Features Toolbar. Set Delta Z at minus 150 millimeters. OK. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my video tutorial. See you in the next video.